Well, early voting is underway. Today was the first day in New York State. News 10 NBC's Antonina Tortorello spoke to some voters and got a peek at what some sites in the area looked like. Long wait times and long lines have been the general consensus from everyone I spoke to today who voted early, not just the people here at St. Theodore Parish Church, but I'm told the lines were so long they went in the hallway out this door, wrapping all the way around the building up till around there, and there was still even a line up until it ended. At 9 o'clock this morning, the polls opened across the state. I talked to an election worker and she tells me people were lined up outside the church an hour in advance waiting to cast their ballot. This is a look at the lines in Parenton. Many people waiting a while to get in the room. 40 minutes, which well, I don't think it was as bad as others from what I hear. Uh, we've been here about an hour. 12 30. About 12.30. 12.30 and we probably got another 25, 30 minutes to go before we get in there. There were a few reasons people tell me they decided to take the early route. Why did you decide to vote early today? I just wanted to get it out of the way. No reason, just to get my vote in and hopefully it'll happen. If you have the opportunity to cast your vote now versus waiting until the actual date, something always comes up Yeah, and you might, uh, you might not make it, so this is a perfect opportunity. Really just to get it over with before the voting crowds get even worse than this because I was told at the door that this is the best time to do it. Some voters got a postcard in the mail from the Board of Elections stating where to vote. Thinking the location on the card was for early voting, they went there only to find nowhere to vote. But the location on the card is your polling place on Election Day only. So today came with a few hiccups, but overall it was a busy day with a very large turnout. There are 17 early voting sites across Monroe County, and you can vote early until November 3rd. For the full list of locations and times you can go and vote, check out WHEC.com and click the election banner. All the information you need will be there. In Gates, Antonina Tortorello, News 10, NBC.